We are guys, we're going to uh, go and do some mirror carp fishing on peg free at St. Zenzo's Lake, uh, which is the best peg here for uh, getting the the carp. We're not on tutorial, are we? No, we don't mind. We don't mind. Uh, fish to over a hundred pound can be caught from here. If you use some of the other pegs, you can get some very large silver bream. You can also get silver bream, large silver bream from the middle of the lake here. Now, depending on where it puts me, depends on the, which way we go to this particular peg. So let's get in there. Let's go across to it. Next one, let's play. Let's see where I am. It's taking a while. That took a long while to go in. Right. So it took us a long way from the peg. We'd actually want to get to a peg where what's got a willow next to it. Which I think is on the opposite side of this where we are. And just have a look out. Yes, I think it's that one right facing us there, not that one there. So we want to get all the way around. We'll have a look, we'll jog around. We don't want to take the first pier, pier or jetty or the second jetty, um, depending on what you want to call it, pontoon, whatever. It's not, not a pontoon, it's a jetty. So let's go around. You don't want to take that one. You can get some fish there, but you more than likely get uh, bream. We don't want the next one as we come around the next corner, I think it is. We don't want to take that one. You can get some bream and the other, uh, the other cat. What we're doing, we're heading down this way. See where them guys are. We're going to go past these. Carry on. Not this willow. Go past these guys. And we're going onto here, onto this pontoon here, or this um, particular one. As you can see, there's a willow right next to it. Let's get down to the end. Let's have a look out. Right, as you can see, some fish about. It doesn't look like there's many fish from where have you. Straight cast out. Uh, a long cast as well. well. First of all, let's put some... Let's put the right rod on for a start. That's all. Let's go back. Let's get the right rod on so we've got the right bait. Big FD equipment here. Um, casting rod. Multiplier. Because these are big fish out here. So we're going to do a cast out to the middle or towards the middle. Long cast. Let it sit down. Let's just put the uh, the drag on, and we're going to get the reel right up. What happens here is, as I know we're a long way out and a long way beyond the fish, but what happens is the fish peel off and go for the bait, and it's the big ones who tend to peel off. So let's just have a look where we are. As you can see, we're well beyond any of the fish, so we've just got to be patient now and uh, and see what comes and gets our bait. With a bit of luck, we might get up to, well, for the first fish, normally you're hitting around about the 40 to 50 mark, then you start getting into the uh, 70s, up to the 90s, and you can even get one at 106 pound from here. This is the best peg of, of ears for getting mirror carp. So with a peg free or whatever you want to call it on this lake. And with it the per there we go. And let's see what we've got on. Nothing really ever because it's not uh, not fighting us. So let's see what we've got. Not zigzagging a lot like uh, the mirror cap, so it could be a big bream this from out there. We'll just have to see when we get it in. Oh, no, it's a mirror. It's a mirror cap. 
uh, 26 pounder so we'll go back out as you can see we was where there was no push at all so let's get out again and as I said they peel off and come to you now if you have your hunter vision on at the right time you can actually see that happen so where are we are we're 112 131 feet or something that was a small one in comparison to what you can get from here so we'll just put the hunter vision on and see if we nothing peeling out there yet or at least none of the very large fish don't forget to keep your line there quite tight as well you can zoom in so baits the baits I'm using worm and cook bait um, the, the magic bait that tends to catch a lot a lot of species and a lot of the bigger fish so that's what we're on now here if you're fishing here uh, St. Zenzo's for the grass carp replace the worm with a leech there we go winning again this one's a better fish as you can see it's got a little bit of fight this one not much more but a little bit more let's get it going more well, it snapped us off it was a good fish let's get back out there and keep it going see whether we can get a decent fish out of here Onto vision beyond the the uh, fish again, but there's a lot of big fish in the middle of this uh, lake. And they look like we had one there, not a very big though. Let's take the slack in. It's all a case of waiting, guys. I'm being a bit more patient than I was on the last fish. We can stick chat up, we're not chatting to anybody. Okay, I'm going to vision. There, we've got a fish right on us, I think. Big fish as well, yep, that's us. There we go, and we're in. Let me get this guy to come in. Coming in a bit easier, so. And there he goes. He's going to do his run now. That's what we was waiting for. I'll try and pump in it. See what we've got. So I move to that side. Keep him going. Good fish. Uh, 62 pounder so we've not done too bad there I'm actually selling these ones guys at the moment because uh, I don't know why actually I don't know why I'm selling them I should be going for experience points <coughs> excuse the cough I think I've got the habit of uh, selling fish again from doing the tutorial ones. No, I should say the other tutorial ones, the beginners ones. Tighten that line up. As you can see, the wind was blowing it. Let's have a look on the hunter vision. We're still going there. Got another big fish coming towards us. Yep. There we go, and there's a take. Again, we we easily got this one coming towards us, so it's not one of the mega, mega, mega massive fish. I don't think because they do tend to take us out quite a long way before they're ready to turn and come in. I 
Ah, ça me sent très chaud. It's a decent fish. Here we go. It's 75 pounds there. We're getting there, let's build up. We'll be building up to that uh, 100 pound mark or 106 pound mark if we can get it out. I do have a picture of where the 106 pound one that come out of here from this is that peg. Um, and I will put it up somewhere on the screen. As you can see, there's some big mirrors coming out of here. Some big mirrors around us as well at our feet, guys. They're not massively massive, but they are big. Just tighten that line up a bit. And play the waiting game. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys, especially you guys with headphones on. This cop doesn't want to go. Now if it does go, it's a company in it. It's a quick walk. Something big fish moving out to our bait now. See how they peel off and they come in for the bait. Here we go. Good timing that by me, I think. Is going to take it or does it just reject it? No, it's taking it. There we go. I thought it rejected it then. Now this one going to do a run. It is, it's taking line. This could be a big, big fish, guys. It might be, might be, it might not be. It come a bit easy that from 150 mark. The massive fish taking out to about 180 feet away before they're ready to turn. Also do a lot more left to right than this one's doing. Oh well, it's, it must have heard me. Oh, good fish, as you can see. Oh, good mirror cart. Ninety-three pound, guys. We're getting up there towards that uh, one hundred and six pound one. Let's get one out. As I say, you've got mirror carp under your feet but if you want the bigger mirror carp you have to kick this really far out. Let's have a look again, see if anything, see nothing about. Just a few small fish near it. Nothing's peeled up yet. So uh, it's a waiting game again and here we go with explosions and Everything else, fireworks and rubbish. As we uh, move towards Halloween and bonfire night here in the UK. of it. Maybe that one is that looks pretty small one compared to others. But beggars can't be choosers. So if it's going for the bait it's all good. Here it is and it was going for the bait. Oh, it's not bad. It's not a bad fish. I've got a bit of fight back there. Let's get it turned. Here we go. Don't forget guys as well you can end up getting some big bream out here as well. And if we go opposite this and uh, oh well, that's me I was too busy speaking not busy enough looking at what I was doing. If we go opposite this peg to the other side and we cast out to the middle we more than likely will hit the odd mirror cap. But we will hit some big big bream and I'm a monster bream 20 pound plus out there uh, and the odd uh, silver cap as well don't 
by a patience game again now after my uh, poop bad them by not looking at what I was doing and playing the fish sorry if you can hear that banging that's actually a fire door to the stairwell um, it's very very windy here so it rips through this uh, building and tends to slam all the doors leave that going and fireworks going maybe this was the wrong time to do this tutorial Get into a fair, fairly decent fish here again stripping line let him do a run see where we can turn him yep got him turned I'm not going to pump this guy, I'm just going to carry on winding him in, dropping the rod slowly as we do so. There we go, put left to right, there we go. Not a big in, not a big in, so let's get back out there again. We'll just come to this side a little bit. long cast out 152 feet we'll uh, settle a bit we'll tighten that up there we go have a look where there's anything about nothing yet But you get the idea guys, I mean well, we've been on 17 minutes now, we've had a few big fish, I've lost a few big fish for not uh, being vigilant and looking at what I'm doing, instead of looking at other monitors and things. <laughs> towards us so won't be a massively massive fish this we still wait for that hundred pound mark we had a near one with ninety odd pound we want an hundred pound or an hundred pound plus for here if we can that's not gonna be it though come on that's a massive bream as you can see uh, 24 pounds. I said 20 pound plus, didn't I, guys? So I will go. I don't care. Let's get another one back out. We still after that 100 to 106 pound mirror cap out here. Let's take up some of this slack. Have a quick look out again. As you can see, you can't see any fish where we're uh, fishing. We have to wait for them to peel up and uh, come towards us. Something that has in front of us. I'm going to play it in that tail flick then. A lot of crucian carp in these, uh, in these waters as well, guys. Look, let's have a quick look. Well, there's some, some peeling off that sort of way, but not far enough out for us. There's a one coming in really fast, which normally means it's going to come from the bait. Let's have a look, see whether that one was coming from our bait. Didn't look a massive fish. And it must have passed. Another quick look. Yep, it passed. Is it? Or is that it? It's at the end of it. A smallish sort of fish. Pink 
It's going to scare me again, guys. There we go. This one's coming in to re for it to be uh, a big fish. The size we're, we're trying to hunt down. I am one left to tackle though, so. And FT line, oh, it sounds like a pipe back, has it? Oh, another pipe back. Oh, bad boy, so that's all right, not bad as well. 81 pounder. Let's get another one out there. As you can see, these are big fish out here. On this particular spot on here. Don't forget guys, you want the jetter next to the willow on peg 3. Uh, depends on where it puts you, depends on how you have to find it. It put me on the other side of the lake, sometimes it puts you on this side of the lake as well. Let's have a look out again. Some big, oh, there's big fish on it all, is it? Let's uh, get that. It's not massive fish, it's coming in too easy. This might be a bream. Might be a big bream, this. And we will they go left to right all the way. Oh. Let's get that out of the way. Let's chuck another one out there. As I said before, guys, you'll find some big bream in here as well. Not looking like we're going to get the uh, 100 pound or 100 pound plus. They could have been the ones I lost, actually. Um, but we'll persevere for a little bit longer. We're it's 20 odd minutes in, so. I'll give it to 30 minutes and then I'll go to the opposite side of the lake and show you what you get from there. If you're fishing towards this uh, jetter. Keep that there. Something in that way, is it? No. Small fish passing, is it? Can't tell. It looks a big fish, actually. It's that far out and beyond that float. Here we go with the waiting game again. Over 24 minutes in, and we've not done bad for fish. There we go, there's a tape. Oh, well, snapped off now, and it wasn't even reeling then, so I don't know what that was. We had on get it back out there, not as long a cast this one, uh, anywhere near as long, but it'll do. Slap up, take that line down a little bit. There we go. So out there. Not beyond the fish this time. 
podcast by me, by the way, guys. But we'll wait and see whether anything peels off into it. fish on now just as I did that Chuck one out this way a little bit and with a bit of luck we might get something. That would actually hunt him, like a mirror cat. Anything peel, peels off towards it from any direction. I'll just keep that line a bit tighter. Again. Yes, big fish. Actually swam in way that originally. It's not dragged as far out, has it? It's coming in so it's like a dream again the way it's coming in. It's not know what's in the middle. No real left tonight, 77 pounder. So we'll flick out this way then this time. Big cast. Sixty nine. Let's tighten that up a little bit. Let's have a look. We beyond the fish. And uh, the next one we'll put in near see if anything near the pixel oh, mount fifty meter mark a uh, fifty yard sorry fifty feet mark as well. Fifty meter fifty yard. I'm in about fifty feet, I'm on feet and inches here. to that halfway mark, well, half an hour mark, we just hit it, have we? Nope, we've come up to it. Let's have a look. Nothing peeled off yet. Peel up, right, the far end you can see a fish coming towards us, and another fish far beyond it. Both look massive fish, because of way, way, way where we are. Let's have another look if we can. A bit too soon yet. There we go, it's not come out of the way. Big fish there as well. Heading left on the screen. Doesn't look like we're going to hit them 100 mark ones. Well, it's a challenge for you guys to get out there and uh, get the 100 plus, 100 pound plus. Looks like we've got 
got some big fish heading this way from the uh, the right, well beyond our float. So we we'll want to be patient and see what happens. Let's take a bit of slack in. swimming towards us at any sort of great speed to say yes I'm after that bait we've we'll out a little bit longer and this might be the first blank we've got from the cast peeled off that way oops hang around so let's bring it in that's our first blank long cast so we'll do a quick uh, quick look up we count around about the 50 meter mark if we can we'll have a look through and see what's about um, so, vision, let's go from this side. A few fish there, can't see any cat moving that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, guys. That's not the cast, that was a flick of my finger. <laughs> a little twitch. Nerve damage. I've got nerve damage to my hands, guys, so every now and then things like that happen. So, look, well, I'm proud of you out. Oh, we're way out. Let's get it back in a bit. Let's leave it about there, it's uh, 59 meters, 59 feet, oh, I like to keep on saying meters, that's because I've been on them tutorial ones. Let's leave it there, see whether we pick anything up, where's my, my liquid is across the room, I'm just going to go and get that, watch me get a bite now and lose it because I'm not here, I've left the chair, oh god. No, I'm back. I'm back beforehand. Is there anything there? Oh, shaving cream and bang the mouse again. Small fish around it. That's all. Nothing of any size. This is in front of us, it keeps on uh, rising. It might be a silver cap. Nope, it looks like we're dead in the water today, guys. So I think that was our chance at the, uh, the big stuff gone by so what we'll do is we'll head right the way down the lake and we'll see what's on the other side so we'll come up there don't forget guys you want to fish the one with the willow let's go a little walk around and we'll go all the way around you will see fish towards the end and along the, near these reeds and what have you i just stop here and have a quick look few fish here, some fish at the end there, but we're not going to be bothering with them. We're going to make our way round. When we're looking to be facing or near to facing the pier we uh, he was fishing. Oh, it's that one up there, I think. 
more soon though. Get the other side of us if we go too far. Hello, how do you? There's one there now, it shouldn't look like it's sideways onto us if it's that's our willow there I think. Nope, that's our willow up there, I have gone past. It is a bit, a bit difficult to see where you are on this side. I think that's our willow there, is it? No, that's because we've got reeds in front. I know we've got a bit the big tree and a bit of a clearing. This might be the clearing, I don't know if that's a big tree. Can't see the uh the Jesse from this side again. Oh we're not this far up. We're not this far up. It's not that willow. It's not where they're fishing. It's, you know, it can be confusing on this side. Is that the big tree? That could be the big tree. Although the big tree stands on its own. That could be the big tree. <laughs> well, that one could be. The one we see stands on its own. With all the trees in the background. This could be the area. We'll put one out there. Well, I'm up from here. Here we go. So, as you can see, we've got some fish around here. We'll just put one out into here for a second. See where anything picks anything up from here. Right in close. Ah, there it is. I can see the pontoon now. Oh no, that's the other pontoon. I'm getting disorientated now. Take anything big enough? No. Right. Okay. Bloody well do that, that's my finger again. Pontoon there one. Can't see pontoon two. Only want pontoon three. Which has definitely got to be up this other end here. Definitely got to be up this end. Let's get out the water. I should have took more notice of where the water was coming out. I do think this is that clearing part myself. I still can't see the pontoon. Anyway, we'll use here. We'll have a look out from here. Yeah, we've got a few fish around. So what we're going to do, we're going to go beyond them fish. And see whether we pick up anything big again. We're only going to be here a couple of minutes, guys. We're at 40 minutes now. Leave it out, see whether anything big comes with it. Sorry, guys, I'm just knocked the microphone now. I'm doing really well tonight.
water as well. I want to see where anything peels up and comes from us. Fish out there, as you can see. Let's, let's take up some of that slack. Peeled up yet. in there but I'm not going for this bait. Everything's passed down to it. I'm definitely not in the right spot. Definitely not in the right spot here. I still can't make out on the way uh, where that jetty was. Patient was with a guy because you're fishing because he's on the wrong side to be on the jet air. I'd recorded earlier a lot of bream and a lot of cat. It's got to be that one on there. Definitely not that one. that one actually. So it's going a bit further and on in this way. To the other side of this. Can you see a jetty on that? Oh why there's a jetty there. I don't know. Let's have a look out. You see we still want to chuck one out towards it. Big long cast. Last cast this guys. We don't get anything this time. We'll call it a day. We're coming up to uh, three quarters of an hour just past. 
So my only pin peels off in this in the next few minutes. That's what we want now. Is that a cat peeling up going towards it? Could be. Could be. We'll see. Yes, it was. So let's strike. Or it looked like a cat going towards it. In the left, right, and the uh, America. And this one, you know, what have we got? I can't really see. We have got a America. Not massive. But we'll have that. Anyway, guys, we'll call that a day. As you can see, best spot is definitely over at the willow on this uh, on this peg on peg three and uh, guys i hope you enjoyed that i hope it helps you catch some big fish go out there get the 106 pounder uh, i should have put a picture up somewhere along to show it and uh, i'll see you on the next one bye for now guys